Welcome back to another video. Definitely appreciate the support, guys. I wanted to drop a video to showcase a preview, uh, just a tidbit of my offensive ebook. It's going to come from the Raiders. Um, and this is just a shell of everything that I do with the playbook. And I also am dropping a lot of content on my defensive ebook. It's going to be called the Split Field 2 Defensive Ebook. I'm going to showcase a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to do with that. So right now I have about five hours worth of content recorded. I just haven't uploaded them yet. And those, all this stuff will be a part of my um, YouTube join subscription model. So if you subscribe, I think it's only five bucks a month. It's nothing. Um, then you'll get access to that content. And I will be adding to that content throughout the year. So uh, a lot of good stuff going now. Sorry for the lack of uploads for the past couple of weeks. I had a major health scare, which is not fun at all. I don't know if you guys ever experienced something like that where you could potentially die. Not fun, right? So I definitely praise the God of Israel for clearing me on that. So I'm good to go now. Let's just get right into the video because I'm on a short time spurt right now. So um, the first thing I'm going to show in my ebook is going to come from the Gun Empty Ace Raider playbook. So I'm not going to get into deep de detail about all of these plays. Just going to showcase to you a couple of drives from this particular playbook to see my thinking and etc. So first play of the game, I believe I come out in the clear out formation. Okay, pre-snap read, looks like cover two. We got outside corners. Okay. And he's in a bear front. So <clears throat> obviously with my ebook, I'm gonna go over pass protections because from this particular formation, we are in a five man protection scheme, okay? So I won't go into de detail with that here. So right away, I should set the protection here, which would put us in a 5-0 call, okay? Which makes this guy the hot right here. And the second I see this, I know I'm good in protection. So th this is the this is the biggest thing about pass protection. When you understand pass protection and you see something like this, now my eyes can be 100% downfield. Let's say this is my vision cone, right? And I, I look over here first, or wherever I want to look. Now, you're probably wondering what the hell is he talking about? Well, how many times have you snapped the ball and you don't know if they're coming, if they are coming? And your field of vision is like this, right? And you're looking over here, but you're kind of looking here too, right? It, it's a lot more muggy down the field when you're worried about the pocket. You don't know if you're good or not, right? As opposed to understanding pass protection at the snap of the ball, you're not hot. So now my eyes are 100% downfield and that's where you can make uh, better throws in the coverage, okay? So I snap the ball. He chases that clear out over here. We have a Salem concept over here. Hold this underneath safety, throw inside, big game. Okay, I run no huddle. And it is, this is the beauty of no huddle, guys. We, we dictate to the defense. So he audibles. So think about the audibles that people have. You have, as opposed to having the entire defensive playbook at your disposal, when you're forced to deal with a no huddle offense, now you only have four plays from a specific formation that you can uh, audible to. Obviously, he can check into other stuff, but he doesn't have a lot of time. So he checks out, and the pre-snap read here is cover zero right away. So immediately, I check into one of the our zero blitz beaters, and obviously, we have to understand protection. So I think I click away here to showcase it. You see, I, I make him the mic. Obviously, I will go over that with my uh, when I get into the ebook stuff. But real quickly, I make him the mic. So what does that do? Okay, our slide will be there, and that makes this guy to hot, right? So if he comes, right, we have no one to pick him up. Okay, if he comes under pressure, we have no one to pick him up. That means we have to get rid of the ball before he hits. The quarterback and we are running the lion concept on this side of the field now here's a beautiful thing about this playbook guys if you go check out my lion passing concept i think i made a video on that last year in madden 22 that's another good thing about the videos i make 
I mean, they're kind of like timeless because that's what football is. It's timeless, right? The concepts are the same. You just have to try the concept in the next year's Madden to see how it works against the coding of the game. And that's where Madden is just so wrong, right? In the league and in the college, these concepts are timeless, right? So, you know, the, the sale concept is great against spot drop cover three no matter what, right? But you'll never know with Madden. You have to check it out in game first before you try it, right? But anyways, I'm already going on a rant, right? Um, the Lion concept is always wrong in Madden, the way it's ran. The way they run it, they run, this is the Lion concept where it's double slants on one side. But in Madden, what they do is he runs a three-step slant and he runs a three-step slant. And that's where it's wrong in how it's ran in Madden. In real life, how it's ran is this guy runs a one-step slant and this guy runs like a three-step slant. And the whole point of it is against double high safety defenses, let's say you got a backer here, corner outside, you're running that one now slant to get you want to cross the face of this guy no matter what, right? So if he overplays that or jumps underneath inside, that naturally opens up the window for our backside uh, three-yard slant, right? Now on the flip side of that, if you cross the face of that player, then you can just throw that now slant right in there, okay? Well, what's the point of me getting into all that? Well, it's, it's funny because in this formation with this play, they run now slants on the outside. So we can change this because he's running a now slant. We can hot route him to a regular slant and now we are running real life the way the lion concept should be ran. So that's the beauty about this play. I love it because again, we're running a real life concept and they're actually doing it right. A now slant and a three yard slant. So anyways, uh, he's in a cover zero blitz. That's a pre-snap read. If you don't know about pre-snap reading, go check out my pre-snap read video. And I should check away, I think. I make him Mike or did I? So anyways, they're going to do their slide and that makes this guy the high. So if he comes, we have to get rid of the ball before he comes and we plan on throwing this now slant. He should be able to beat off coverage man to man. He comes. So right away, I know I'm hitting the slant. There it is. Okay. Next play. He presses. So I don't remember what I did. All right, so right there. So I think I was trying to figure out what I, I was going to do because the pre-snap read the corner was outside and it didn't look like he checked out of his original play. So it looked like some type of cover two deal with him trying to disguise or bring this guy up, right? But then he just uh, audibled and then pressed down and right away we can see what they're doing. Inside leverage, inside leverage, inside leverage. This looks like cover zero again, okay? So this is where I check into this screen. Obviously, so, my offensive ebook will dive and that's a lot of stuff guys so i'm sorry if, if if i'm the guy who talks too much obviously my channel won't be one of your favorites or one that you want to venture into um maybe that's something i need to work on but there's five man protection schemes there's six man protection schemes obviously there's seven man eight man etc so hopefully i will get into that on my uh youtube channel but again we are operating with a five man protection scheme with the formation that we have and we do have a six-man protection scheme from this formation which I think I do showcase that in this video okay now what's the whole point of this well five-man protection schemes in the game blocks a little bit different based upon these right here these are the fronts people present to you when they play different blitzes right so they can play cover zero with an even front an odd front, a bare front, or what I call a double A front. And obviously I'll probably add more stuff as time goes on on my YouTube channel. Okay. So obviously I'll have uh, charts and stuff and we'll get into all this neat stuff later. So I, I showcase that because what front do you think this is? Well, this is what I would call a bare front. Okay. And what a lot, a lot of guys do, it's good to know this stuff because no matter what cover zero blitz, a lot of guys will bring at you. When you understand the fronts and how they'll block it up, 
uh, you'll know who will be your hot and who won't and etc so this is what a, I would call a bare front okay so let's see who I tagged as the mic okay I tagged him as a mic and that makes sense okay so we're gonna get our slide here and that makes this guy that okay now what a lot of guys do with the bare front cover zero looks they take this player and they mug this a gap and what they're trying to do they're trying to force the offensive line I don't even I can't even say that they're intentionally doing it right they're probably doing it because they've seen it on YouTube and they just know that it works right but maybe they don't even know why it works right they're mugging that gap so you're forced to commit to that block and then what they do is they back out of there to go into coverage and this guy's still coming scot-free this left tackle who steps inside doesn't have enough time to recover to pick up this guy right so I don't I actually don't have a problem with this some guys may say well that's cheese well no I, there's NFL teams that actually do this stuff right I can't remember the name of the concept okay but I was I was reading some stuff on uh, pass protection man everything about the game of football man is just so interesting even pass protection is a whole nother world right so anyways he's gonna be the odd I'm gonna ID him post snap if he comes I know that I have no one to pick him up and I have to get rid of the ball before he gets there and I'm looking to throw this he should be able to beat this guy with our now sled I think I hot route him to the three yard slant just to keep everything consistent so we're running the line concept on the side we're running the stick concept on this side now if he doesn't come this is the whole thing about understanding like hots right let's say he backs out of there at the snap of the ball well now again I can get my eyes downfield and throw my regular concept and be unafraid of someone coming scot-free at the quarterback why is that that's because I set the mic that way so our slide is that way so if he gets out of there I know I'm good right I don't care what they're doing I know I'm good I can look downfield I can even look to attack deep downfield but we'll get into that in later videos okay so snap the ball he comes right away in right here in the play I know I'm throwing my slant right so obviously this guy you see exactly that's what he does he holds this just so he can hold that and we get a two-on-one deal here but that's okay because he's the hot balls out all that for a five-yard game guys all that for a five-yard game but hey it's all about efficiency right we don't have to do that gimmicky glitch out the system so the man is messed up and he doesn't know what's going on because I found some glitch you could just do regular football stuff and a lot of a lot of these things and just you know expose them right so again no huddle he checks in the cover zero again and the uh, again another thing about this formation in my ebook we have multiple ways to attack cover zero you don't want to be a one-trick pony where we're only attacking with this inside slant or the outside line concept against cover zero because then think about the different things that he can do well what if he runs the same blitz with the bare front but then he hugs this gap right and then at the snap of the ball he flies out of there to get in the window right now obviously there's things we can do against that I would probably work this side and I would make this guy the mic so this guy would be hot right so you know we can present a lot of problems for players right but again you still don't want to be a one-trick pony so we have another play that we can check into and I check into our uh, it's called wide receiver screen and it's excellent against cover zero it doesn't work on this play for one reason I'll show you why snap the ball this is the user remember he usually stays in this a gap but he just gets over here and I want you to take a look at this now imagine if he stayed inside or if he flew this way or if he actually did come so we X him out do you see what would happen here block 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 this is against cover zero you throw it inside and I've scored touchdowns on this play right so this is a great thing we have in our empty ace Raider just so happens that he flew over there and that's fine you know um, if you don't believe me that this play works here's something that happened later in the game this was an offensive explosive explosive game I was having trouble with this guy I've been tinkering with a new defense and etc this is later cover zero and you'll see me run this play just want to showcase how it is effective Hot snap and you see how he doesn't fly over there right 
Looks like he was worried about something going over here. And what do you know? And my backup back was in the game. I wonder if Mixon was out of the game due to being tired because we are a pedal to the metal, foot to the pedal, whatever you want to call it, offense, and he's probably tired. I don't know. All right, so that, that could have been a tough look at that. 18 for 19, 335, three TDs at this point. So let's go back. Next play, cover zero again. Now he's pressing, okay? So what other tools do we have in our toolbox from Empty Ace Raider to deal with this? Because now this is different. Now he's pressing, maybe because he wants to play a little bit better on these underneath inside routes, okay? So here's another thing we can do. Remember I told you about that six man protection that we can get into from this formation? I know you're probably wondering how can you possibly do that with five offensive linemen it's another thing about this formation okay i'm going to show it later so i bring him in um, it has a lot of wacky motions in this game right so now we can move our back into a stack receiver set i think i did that because i still wanted to throw this line side and i wanted to give him something to think about maybe we're running something on this side of the field okay I set the mic that makes this guy the hot snap the ball as soon as he comes I know I'm throwing this inside slant and we see you see how he went over here and then now he's flying this way he's worried about what's going on over here with that motion we throw it inside third and four next play cover zero again so I think this is the six man protection, right? Let's see. Third and four, we need to get a first. And yep, this is it. So here's one of the motions we can do. We can motion him into a stack. This is the back or we can motion him on the LOS and use him as a blocker. Now we have a six man protection scheme. So what the route combinations I had dialed up, the reason why I wanted to go six is because I know he's bringing six. So I wanna get a hat on a hat because I have a longer developing route that I wanna attack with. And what's that? Well, he's playing inside leverage press. So we're running a deep go and maybe I can throw outside shoulder fade because he's taking inside leverage, so I want to throw outside leverage, okay? So uh, we should be good in the pass protection. And we have our back. And we have our back in the protection scheme to pick up a linebacker. So that's something I'll go over with these videos. You don't want to bring in the six-man protection, and then he's picking up a defensive end, okay? So here's the thing. I know I'm good. Right? I'm not worried about someone coming in scot-free. I know I'm good no matter what. And he also, he brings this guy out. So it looks, so we see exactly what he was trying to do here. He shows the same look and then this guy comes out, right? So he wants to get in the window. He knows what I do, what I did earlier against this look. So he wants to trap me into throwing this, but it wouldn't have mattered had I have called that lion concept remember I would have made this guy the mic let's just pretend like the back isn't in here okay uh, we would have slid this way and that would make this guy the hot so the second I'm looking at him first before everything post snap so the second I would have saw this then I wouldn't have thrown the slant however I would have known I could have sit in the pocket and read my concept whatever I else I could have thrown against the coverage right so this wouldn't have worked, okay? That's the whole thing about understanding, you know, the, the pass uh, protection. So anyways, let's, let's roll with it. Snap the ball. I know I'm good. Outside shoulder ball. Right in the basket. Okay, we'll press, he's outside. We're gonna throw that outside shoulder, use the pass free form. And I think I wanted to showcase another drive and I do. So this is a double in um, 
play that we have in here. Very good against a variety of different things. But here I check into, here's another thing we can do with this particular playbook. We can shift. Obviously you can do that with any playbook, but there's a reason for everything in what I do. So a lot of times when I come out in this formation, the empty H Raider, when they see that in their defensive uh, play call screen and they see empty, a lot of people will play a prevent dime quarter type defense and we're stuck with having two tight ends and a back. So the good thing about it though is we can come out in this formation so you can come out in quarter or dime and then we shift or audible into a running type formation with two tight ends in the back and now we have you outmatched in regards to personnel right so that's another unique thing that I like about this particular playbook hopefully I hurry along here I think I shifted again so first time I ran this time I'm running um, a stick concept with the dragon concept on the side of the field we see single high so I'm working the dragon concept we're gonna read this player if he widens with the flat, and he does, I'm throwing slant inside. There we go. Go check out my video on the dragon concept. So again, no huddle. Seems like he's in some type of cover one. Now he presses, and here's another unique thing about this formation. I can motion this guy into a stack set, and that's how we can deal with uh, pressing at the LOS. You see how they press like that? And now I'm working inside. I didn't know how to. So this time I think I checked into that run again. HB dive. And not a great play. We still got four yards, so actually that's a good play. Any run that's four yards on first down, it's a good play. So he's pressing again. So I shift into our stack set, and then I take him on an out route here. We have a bench concept going on over here. Is that the one? You see how he can't press him, and he gets rubbed off with this action right here? And we're running away from the inside user with this route. Pick up a big gain. Now let's go ahead and score a touchdown. This is the end of the first quarter. Let's go to the second quarter. I think I called the wide receiver screens. I was expecting a type of cover zero. However, we didn't get that particular look. We got a single high look. Right away, when I don't see as this guy being covered, it looks like cover three. So we can get a two on three deal here with an extra blocker as well. So let's see if I threw that. I believe I did. Yes, I did. Caught inside. Take it outside. Juke him out of his cleats. Score a touchdown. So I leave it at that, guys. That's Empty Ace Raider. Um, and that's not even the half of everything that I want to show in this playbook. Obviously, I hope you do join my uh, YouTube membership deal so you can explore with me this playbook um, I have a lot of recorded stuff that I want to show so I mean I mean it's just an example to see if I go through some of these plays so obviously I'm gonna go over you know tight end cross t tight end shake at some point corner strike hopefully uh, spacing is one that's great against uh, cover three or drop zone because we're attacking with five uh, threats against four underneath zones Curl flats, this is the Hank concept from this formation. Double seams is another one. I, I intend on going over. The seam play is pretty nice. X slant, I mean, it's just a lot of good stuff in this playbook that I run. Uh, the most explosive play in this playbook that I like to run. I mean, all of them can be explosive. And I just missed it again. is go I dig and we make a couple of adjustments here I mean they're all they all can be explosive but I run this against uh, two particular defenses to where we can just get explosive gains down the field so that's the whole point 
my offense, um, I intend on forcing the opponent to have to defend every blade of grass horizontally and vertically, and we just we just want to stretch them to the max, foot to the pedal, uh, foot on the gas, and exploit where they are weak. Okay, so hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you keep coming back, and um, I hope you uh, think about joining. Peace, guys.